Hello, fellow light beings, and welcome back to my daily moonbeam readings. I'm Luna Ray, and today is Friday, April 13th. That's right, it is a Friday the 13th. Oh, what's that gonna be saying for you? <laughs> Um, sometimes Friday the 13th is a normal day. Sometimes Friday the 13th is crazy. We'll just have to see. We're still a waning crescent in Pisces, which means it's still a time where light is going out and it's time to be finishing up projects rather than beginning new ones, unless you're me and you're a rebel. Um, it's going to move into Aries this evening around 1130. But that's not really going to change much about the not beginning anything new. We're nearing the end of three weeks of Mercury in retrograde. For those who don't know what that means, it means that Mercury has appeared to be going backwards the last few weeks. It's not really going backwards. It just is an optical illusion, but it still throws things out of whack. Um, Mercury is the planet of communication, so that means that communication is what's been affected. Uh, technology that you use for communicating, like phones, <sighs> conversations with coworkers that haven't gone the way you want them to, you've had arguments with your spouse, there's been disagreements and misunderstandings left and right. It's almost over, thank God. So still have two days left. It ends April 15th. We're almost there. And it began on March 22nd. So it's felt like it's dragged on forever. So what is this Friday the 13th going to bring for you? Let's see, Gemini, what kind of day that's going to be. Now, according to a book that I have, Gemini, that um, gives the horoscopes for the whole year for all the signs, Today is going to be a rather stressful day for you, Gemini. Um, stress doesn't always have to be bad. It could just be that you're busy and just because it's also a good love, money, and career day. So really, that's a lot on someone's plate, Gemini. My double personalities, if anyone can handle it, it's you. But that still doesn't mean it's not stressful. So, Gemini, let's see what the cards have to say for you and maybe some advice to get through the stress of the day ah job right there there's the first card there you and i ah number two jim and i And number three, Gemini. So we're going to set these cards aside until we need to shuffle one with that face card there for a little more information. And let's explain these cards here. So, Gemini, this first card here, the Ace of Clubs, is your day as a whole, what it's really going to be about and focused on in life. And the Ace of Clubs is a dog card. Um, it is possibly a message of a new job or a new beginning of some sort, but you're really going to be starting fresh and new in an area of your work or your life, how you spend your time. There's a new beginning coming your way. Again, it's usually job related. It's not necessarily a job card. It could be a relationship card, but there is a new beginning coming for you, Gemini. And new beginnings can be very stressful. I mean, if you're starting a new job, maybe today is your first day. Well, Friday is not really a good day for a first day of a new job. But, you know, maybe it is it's your first day in a new job. Or maybe you find out today, uh, right before you go home at 5 o'clock, that you're going to be promoted, Gemini. There are all sorts of things this could be. And that could contribute to your stress level. As I said, stress doesn't always have to be bad. It's just, oh, overwhelming. Oh, my gosh. This is what I've been wanting. But... Your day as a whole is going to be focused on this new beginning. The second card here is something that is important today that you need to be mindful of. And we have here the Queen of Diamonds. This is a female, a woman, usually fair complected. Um, and this could be you, Gemini, or this could be a woman in your life. 
your um, it could be your partner or your spouse or your girlfriend or a sister, but you really need to be mindful of if this isn't you, your relationship with this person. It's important. Um, let's draw a card on it because it's really hard to get much information just on a face card. So well, this one looks like it's leaking at me. Ah. That could be where the trouble is coming in. Now, Daisy, love moon, love you. Um, spades with her are always travel. So this could be a short trip within a two, like a couple of days, a couple of weeks. You're going on a trip with this woman. So you need to be mindful of it. Or you, this woman, are going to be on a, going on a trip. So you need to be mindful of it and aware and thinking about it. It's important. Um, but for me, I also have the spades as trouble. And it's not a lot of trouble, it's just a little. This could be where this could just be that stress over this relationship with this person and you're, you're starting fresh with them. Maybe it's a boss or a coworker or you're, you're a new girlfriend or um, your girlfriend's mother, you know. There's a little bit of trouble there though, a little bit of stress. And don't worry, this is my book. I wrote this, this is all my stuff, so I'm not, it's okay, Chi Chi. Years of research here. Uh, it's just hard to remember off the top of my head all the time. So spades, number two, it, it's, it's conflict. There's some bit disagreement that's been going on with this person here. And you're angry. You, you feel like you may have been betrayed. Maybe you found out some bad news about this person. Or um, this new beginning could be that you're, you're separating from this person. And you're starting your life fresh. Or this is you as a woman. You, you have separated from somebody. You're beginning life fresh. And it's... A forced change that's causing a lot of upheaval in your life and it's going to have an effect on the, the coming months so you really want to be aware and mindful of this situation it's going to make a big difference in your life and in the coming months and you're if you're really just feeling overwhelmed by it um you have this need to have others around you and not be alone sometimes Gemini and right now you really need to be aware of and watching out for those who you may not necessarily need to have around and they're just filling this void that you need filled, but they're not who belongs there. It could be what the new beginning is pointing towards. You don't want this relationship to end. You're stressed about it, but it may not be healthy and what's best for you. Don't let that need for others to be around you overshadow the truth about that person, Gemini. Be aware of that. And then make this tough decision that you're going to have to make and know that it's going to bring harmony to your life and don't let it bog you down. Harmony's coming and peace and new beginning. So don't let this stress get to you, Gemini. Have a good day. And then this third card, I say have a good day, and then I'm about to tell you, there's a lot more trouble. Um, again, this could be travel for the lucky Gemini's who aren't going to have a stressful day. This could be you're going on a long trip, you know. Um, you were preparing and mindful and aware for a short trip, but maybe this trip's going to be a little longer. Or maybe this new beginning is that you're moving. Maybe not far from where you live now, but you're still moving to a new home, a new business location. There's movement going on there. That's what Daisy would say, a lot of movement. But again, like I said, nines and spades can be trouble. And nine is a lot of trouble. The nine of spades means that there's been some loss and disappointment. Oh, and this is the number three. Card number three is what you need to embrace in order to have your best day. I know, what? Trouble? Embrace to trouble? What the heck do you mean, Luna Ray? How do I embrace trouble? Well, if it's a move or somewhere that you're moving, embrace this move. Know that it's going to work out for the best. And if it is trouble, it's, it's loss. Um, there's been some adversity in your life and some sadness and tragedy lately. And you really feel as though you've lost control. Embrace this. Allow yourself to not be in control. We can't always be in control, Gemini. So embrace today the fact that you aren't in control of something and just let the universe take you away and have its way with you today because you really will be more at ease if you just let it go and let it happen. And remember that even if change is unwelcome, 
Most of the time, change is for the best. So embrace the change. That's just what I see for you today, Gemini. Until tomorrow, have a lovely day, and I'll see you then. Bye!